uh, in this video, I want to share with you a very cool thing I learned in the last dev contest, uh, specifically in problem C. So the problem state that there are any friends who want to give gifts for the new year to each other, and each friend should give exactly one gift and receive one gift. Okay. The friend cannot give the gift to himself. Okay, we understand that. So for each friend, the value of i is known. It is either if i equal to zero. Uh, if the IT friend does not know whom he wants to give the gift to uh, Otherwise it will be from 1 to n So if the IT friend knows or want to give the gift to the friend fi Okay, we go to the samples and we see here for example, there are five friends and um, <coughs> Friend number one want to give the gift for for uh, number five for friend number five Number two does not know whom who want to give the gift to, and uh, number three does not know any also. Number four he want to give the gift to for the friend uh, with number two, and number five he want to give the friend to number five. Uh, so I see this uh, during the contest, and I knew that this would be a permutation of some sort. Okay, so but the thing here comes to my mind is that uh, the friend cannot give to himself so meaning that uh, this one could not be one since one cannot give to his friend and we are only also to modify only the zero so we are concerned about this so here we cannot give two so meaning two will give to himself and that's uh, a contradiction according to the problem statement which uh, should not happen uh, so I thought of this during the contest, and I came up with a solution. Uh, why don't I uh, take all the the indices of the zeros values and store them in a in a, an array or in a vector, okay? And try to like store them in ascending order, so here two, three, and put them backward. And apparently, uh, this during the contest did not work, and I failed on this test case actually, the second one. So um, if you want to check out this, uh, what I did is basically, let me show you. Um, in this example, uh, I failed because here, uh, this is the indices, uh, the index 2, this is index 3, and this is index 5. So if I put them backward, I will place 2 here, and then I will place 3, and then I will place 5. And this would fail because uh, 3 is basically here a contradiction because this index 3 gives to himself so this one does not work and um, after thinking of it uh, for a while during the contest and I, th I thought of sh just a swapping mechanism that would work and apparently I did pass a pretest but I got hacked in the hacking phase so my solution actually did not work uh, so in the upsolving process uh, today I tried to solve the problem again and um, I was trying to make it work but did not work trying some strategies some techniques but also did not work so I, I failed if you see I failed a few times so uh, so, so okay and uh, I did not actually come up with a solution no solution in my mind would work I tried all all of them and did not work so I go to the tutorials and I read the tutorial, and this is a problem. We need to print uh, the permutation without fixed points, but some values are unknown in advance. Uh, now, this line here, I stopped when reading this line. Let's consider the permutation as a graph, and I haven't thought of it as a graph during the contest. So what I immediately did when I when I thought of it as a graph, I drew the graph. For example, for the second test case, uh, or for the first case, for example, so five here means I have five vertices one. 2, 3, and 4, and 5. Uh, so um, I thought of it, the first would give to the to the fifth, so meaning there is an arrow going uh, out of from 1 and into 5. And then the second does not give to anyone, the third does not give to anyone, the fourth gives to 2, so I have an arrow here giving 2. And uh, the last one, the five, the fifth, gives to the fourth. Okay, so I think I think of it this way. 
and I immediately when I looked at this I knew that um, there's something with the n degrees because each one will have n degree one and out degree one so uh, knowing this I came up with a solution and this is apparently my solution to it and here here is my solution for this problem with the graph thing so I calculated in degrees and out degrees for each vertex and try to come up with a solution and I did actually uh, solve the problem but I was not happy with the solution because um, uh, because my solution is lengthy and uh, prone to error and mistakes this actually gave me a hard time okay so I went to the problem after solving the problem I went to the top colors I want to see and I went to the standings and I look through the top coders codes and I see the first one here solved it solve uh, solved the problem in six minutes which is extremely fast I thought so I look it through the solution and I see a very very cool thing that uh, I did not know before had I known this uh, trick before I would have solved the problem really fast okay so uh, what I see I see a random shuffle here and I, wa I was thinking what is this so after looking through the code I knew what is random shuffle uh, do here okay and did, I did not know this before so uh, now I will solve the problem with the random shuffle I actually haven't tried it be uh, before uh, before this video so I will try it with you guys and see uh, how does it work and I will explain to you uh, the random shuffle thing here so this is the main thing in the video um, my um, the trick is actually about random shuffle which I did not know before and this is why I'm sharing with you the the thing I learned in this problem okay so going back to the problem C and we want to uh, to solve this problem uh, using this random shuffle thing okay so what the idea uh, says here is that I want uh, some sort of permutation but this permutation should each index should not give to himself so meaning here I should not have one one or two two for example uh, so uh, the idea is to store all the the indices of the zeros okay in an array or in a vector and random shuffle the vector until you get what you want so it was amazing for me I like the trick and uh, I want to try it with you guys now uh, okay in a test CBB okay so we want to enter n vector pl n for loop VL I um, okay so I will store the the values okay sorry let mark and plus one mark VL I plus plus so I will go from 1 up to I n if V oh sorry mark L I is equal to 0 so then this value I would take it so store it in a T to push back I So here I will just say while it true, while it true, uh, random shuffle it. So random uh, shuffle t dot begin t dot end. And what I will do. For example, I will go for loop int i equal zero, i less than n, i plus okay, i plus plus. Okay, I might do this uh, 
actually so for example vector uh, for example a equal v so if I say if li equals 0 then li a i would be equal to t current plus plus and apparently int current equals 0 would be here uh, now I will check the a so I would go here so if a i equal equal i plus 1 then ok equal false and here I would just a break now if ok then I'm going to print the a And we want to define uh, bool OK equal for equal true. So let's uh, try this one. So I think this one works. Yes, it does this one also works mm -hmm. again this also works and here we go it also works okay so I'll try to submit Okay, so it apparently it seems okay so it, it got accepted and uh, yeah so this is the thing uh, I think here with a few like few hundred iterations the random shuffle would produce a uh, 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 permutation of some sort and we will try this permutation and if it does work then we print it basically so I'm, I'm really I'm really happy that I did not solve this problem because I learned this uh, new thing here uh, in the upsolving process and I hope you guys learned something from this uh, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye